All right, lads. Mike Coppinger is reporting, all right, that reportedly it's been agreed. It's pretty much a done deal, right? If Canelo, I say if, right, as if it's implying that he's going to have some trouble against having the yield room, which I seriously doubt. I don't think that for a second. But it's implied that if and when Canelo gets past having the yield room, provided there's no injuries, you know, Canelo's hurt his hand a few times in the ring. I know his knees um, gave him some jip in the last few years. Provided there's no injuries, the 1st or possibly even the 7th of May, it is Canelo versus Billy Joe. It is going to be Canelo versus Billy Joe. No location announced. You would imagine in one of the states like Texas or Florida, potentially. Um, they're the states where they could get you know decent number of fans in. So it looks likely that we're going to get Billy Joe versus Canelo. Now, I wouldn't be at all shocked if Billy Joe is actually in attendance at the Canelo fight come the end of February. And we did something. Do you remember when he fought Chavez Jr.? Now, they probably won't do it as dramatic as that. All right, irrespective of the time, because announcing Triple G and Canelo was just, it was a big deal. Now, they probably won't do it as, you know, kind of like dim the lights, you know, Golovkin, where are you? They probably won't do anything like that. But I reckon they'll announce it in the ring, post-fight with Canelo. Billy Joe versus Canelo, it's happening. May the 1st, May the 7th, depending on the day, probably May the 1st. Um, it'll be announced. I think that's the of the Maya weekend. They'll announce it probably in the ring, post-fight. With the greatest of respect to Avni Yildirim, all right, don't think I'm having a go with the guy. By the time he'll have fought Canelo, he'll have been out of the ring two years. His last fight was a loss. It was a close fight. It was a technical decision against Darrell. But before that, his last win was against the 46-year-old Lelenga Mock. Now, Lelenga Mock fought David Hay back in the day. On, but put it like this, right? He fought David Hay when David Hay was a prospect. All right, now, to put that into context, and I believe it was a majority decision that Avni Yildirim beat Lelenga Mock on. All right, Lenga Mock, 46 years old. I mean, he seriously, he was being fed to David Hay when David Hay was up and coming in the in the early 2000s. So that says it all. Yildirim, um, if you were to ask me my opinion on what level he's at, probably fringe world, European level, there thereabouts, he really he gained a kind of reputation because he. Do you remember when De Gale? had that toot fall out against Badu Jack. It wasn't necess- it wasn't because of Badu Jack necessarily. That toot was already damaged by Yildirim and Sparring, right? So he kinda gained that reputation. He was he was big at the weight um going into that Eubank Jr. fight. So people kinda t- I remember the general consensus was Eubank Jr. would win, but it would be competitive and you know he might struggle to get Yildirim out of there. Well he didn't. Um you know he steamrolled Yildirim. He made Eubank Jr. look like, you know, Adonna Stevenson in there with the way he was just came straight forward. Um I'd imagine Canelo is going to do something similar. Um, Canelo, I would say, is a harder puncher than Chris Eubank Jr. He's more accurate. He's just better in every department, more explosive. So I'd imagine that Canelo will have quite an easy time. And, and as well as that, as I said, two years of inactivity for Yildirim by the time he gets in the ring. I mean, I think for Eubank, I, I can't remember completely, but I don't. I know it wasn't two years out of the ring. Definitely not. So, yeah, for Yildirim, it's... Um, should be fairly straightforward. Um, it's in Florida. I mean, it'd be on a not a decent time, but it should be on a more European friendly time for us in the UK and Ireland. Um, so it should be good. I'll watch that fight. But Billy Joe versus Canelo, yes, please. I'll take. I want. I, look, the fight I would love to see Canelo in. Honestly, would be against Charlo. All right, Jamal Charlo. I think that's an interesting fight. I think it's a competitive fight. I think it's a very good fight. Um, you know, it'd probably be at 168 because I don't think Canelo's coming back down to middleweight anytime soon. So for me, that's a good that's the fight I'd love to see Canelo in there with next. The other alternative was Triple G. Um I would imagine likely we probably probably will see that fight this year. If Canelo's gonna fight three times, Yielder in February, Billy John May, September Triple G. He said maybe four, so there may be a Christmas date, but I think three fights is um probably gonna be what Canelo does. Injuries provided, of course, you never know what might happen. But him against Billy Joe, it's a good fight. You know, what I like, what I'm seeing from Billy Joe, he's staying in the gym, he's staying active, okay? Before Billy Joe's problem would be, he'd have the fight, right? He'd, you know, do what he needs to do, and then he'd be inactive. Or, you know, there'd be talk of a fight, but then it's like, oh, I can't make the weight. You know, he's on lads' holidays, he's he's getting into trouble. With this one, it seems like, no, he's finished his fight with Martin Murray. He's back in the gym with, um, is it Mark Tibbs he's training with or Jimmy Tibbs? I think it's Jimmy Tibbs he's training with. 
and he's keeping active he's staying in good shape billy joe stylistically could make it interesting in there just from a stylistic point of view i would still pick canelo to win on points but i definitely think that billy joe will have his moments of success in there definitely will all right so a few things about billy joe 168 i'm still not convinced um well i I'm definitely i don't think he's natural at the weight i think his preferred weight or ideal weight i should say his optimum weight is 160 i think his foot speed is faster i think his movement is a bit more fluid i think he's just overall better at 168 or 160 than he is at 168 but this is canelo's new weight and um, this would be a unification so providing canelo beats billy joe you know providing this fight happens it will just be Caleb plant for canelo and yeah i think that Caleb plant would um i think Caleb plant would actually be the easiest would he be the easiest uh, Cannon smith was easy um but i think he'd out of the three champions will say i think Callum plant's the one that gets stopped i think smith we know went the distance i think billy joe will go the distance but i think he'll stop Caleb plant late um plant is plant can look good early on in a fight but you know i think pressure can get to him i think body shots will wear him down as this gas tank is a bit questionable but anyway um we'll talk we'll cross that bridge when we get to it billy joe versus canelo in may was to happen last year didn't could have maybe happened in september didn't looks like we're getting it now as long as there's no stumbling blocks injuries um as long as there's no incidents and when i say incidents i don't mean what you think i mean like genuine you know, you know what billy joe was like you know um just with doing silly things you know i hope he doesn't do anything silly that could put this fight in question when i said instance i wasn't referring to you know what although that's always a question mark these days but i reckon this fight will happen next and i hope it does i think it'd be a decent fight i genuinely do i think it'd be a decent fight um definitely picking canelo to beat billy joe such as i'm picking him to beat Caleb plant and i would pick him over well i'll definitely be picking i think you all know that i'm going to pick him over avenue yielder i'm just debating whether to do a prediction video for that fight because i think we all know what i'm going to go with um i'll leave it here let me know in the comment section below right i really want to see in the comment section, i'm going to want to ask this right realistically realistically what chance do you give billy joe of pulling this off i'm not asking are you picking him I'm not going to say you're going to pick Billy Joe. I'm going to say, do you give him a chance of reasonably being able to pull this off and get it fair, get a fair shake? All right, because people keep saying that Canelo, you know, he's the the judges in his pocket, you know, this that he's favourite. On the zone, it has to be said the Carl Smith fight, he dominated. Right, there was no. If anything, one of the scorecards was too close. I think one judge had it one seventy one eleven. I mean, I couldn't find around to give to the guy. The scorecards have been a lot more fair to the away fighter since canelo's been on the zone i think the Jan jacobs fight was close right it was a close fight but the scorecards were also quite close normally if we saw canelo in a close fight there'd be like a 118 110 or a 119 109 scorecard so on the zone it seems like it's been a lot more you know close they've been a lot more fair so if this is on the zone maybe we would see a fair shake you know that's not necessarily me saying billy joe would win but i'm just saying we, we probably wouldn't see any you know a, a close fight oh 118 110 canelo we haven't seen that on the zone yet you know on fights that have been close anyway so let me know that in the comment section below lads like the video if you could you know smash it on the way in or smash it on the way out whichever hashtag gmans right think there for a sec hashtag gmans rocks all that good stuff lads i'll talk to you peace